I can't swim like before I can remember. My mom always tells me like this wild story. She had like this urge to swim only during her pregnancy of me. After I was born, you know, that urge was gone and she probably never swam since. For anyone who has ever met me, I'm very lanky. You know, I'm like tall, skinny, slow on land, just really slow. When it came down to the pool, I was just always one of the best. You know, you stick to what you know and I ended up excelling in it. Hi, my name is Renzo Chanayu. I'm from Suriname and I will be going to Rio 2016. I never really knew I, I had a talent in swimming. But people always used to tell me, like, dude, you're great in swimming. You should keep on swimming. And, you know, you can, you can reach the Olympics someday. It was always being constantly inflicted into my mind. You know, you can do something every day. You end up achieving it. And, turning it into a reality. Yeah. People know nothing of Suriname. Um, usually they think I'm in Africa. Telling someone I'm from, you know, this Caribbean country in South America that is, only has a half a million people and amidst dense jungle. Training in Suriname has been very difficult because we really don't have the, the resources we need to, you know, to excel at a world level. Everything I did here in Suriname with my coach was basically an experiment. It's what we think worked for people outside that we were just implementing here. Our pools in Suriname are so hot. I would maybe swim two or three thousand meters, and I would have to actually like physically get out during sets to stand underneath the shower to just cool off. I was just overheating. I'm fortunate to be born in a in a family that's. It's not poor, but we're not rich. We're just, you know, from the middle class. My mom is a ninja. She's a warrior. She used to actually go to all these businesses around town, you know, asking, like nearly, quote unquote, begging for, for sponsorships to send me to maybe a training camp or a, a competition in the, in the region, you know? because the junior national team in Suriname is not supported by the, by the government or any other institution when it comes to finances at all. I was already the best on practically all freestyle national records when I was 16 or 17. I have a very competitive nature and I was really up, up and for a new challenge. And I got recruited by a coach, you know, Brad Hawk, to swim there with Auburn University, which is an amazing school. You're so young and hungry, you know, wanting for more. If you come from the islands, or a small place like Suriname. It feels amazing. It feels like a dream come true, actually. I'm abusing my opportunity. I'm trying to get the most out of it. And 
You know, believing and belief. When it comes down to competition season, everything has to be as perfect as possible. Even, even the way you think, you know, will have an immediate effect on your performance or, or, or the way you train it. If you're just positive, the way you wake up, the way you approach people, the way you treat people, it all reflects on the type of athlete you, you'll be in the end. Once it's in the race, it's 90% mental, you know, 10% physical. Swimming is a, a sport that really relaxes you as a, as a person. You sometimes get into this meditative state and you... kind of feel, you know, like out-of-body experiences, you know, being on the water and feeling weightless. It's just a very liberating feeling to be in, you know, indulged in an entirely different element. It's a very lonely sport. You swim thousands of meters and you go from wall to wall. Your only best friend is like literally like voices you have in your head sometimes. You know, or this black line you're like staring at endlessly going up and down the pool. There are more ups than there are downs. The friends you make, the places you get to travel to. It's nice that you know you don't get you know you just get some recognition. You know they always give you like a pat on the back. Big up yourself, you know, respect. Keep on doing what you're doing, power. I've been getting this a lot. My friends and my family, they keep me grounded. I'm trying to stay as as active as possible in my in my community. We have a lot of role models from Suriname and most of them become myths because they never come back. It's truly important for you know kids from these children's homes that you see here to for them to constantly see your face and for me to remind them that there are people who have come from where they are and they succeed on world levels as as, as a guy of myself. I want to help out in any given group that needs help. That reaches from children's homes to hospitals, sloths that need protection. You know, trying to give back as much as possible. you do something as a, as a black swimmer, you're breaking borders. I, I have joined that movement of that whole black swimmer thing. 
society has really created, you know, for, for black athletes that they either have to go run track or um, play basketball, but we have, we have some great swimmers. I love representing my country. I love the sport and I, I don't see myself giving up until I achieve everything I have set out for myself to achieve. Going to the Olympic Games, I mean, that, that's been a feat in itself. Coming from here and dealing with, with everything, you know, all, all the trials and tribulations of a, of a child born in a quote unquote third world country. It's amazing. I'm living the dream. I, I hope to be an Olympic finalist one day and compete for a medal. Prefer a big goal.